Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, as of right now, I'm in college, working two jobs. Um, life is a little bit tough because uh, there's just been a lot going on. But I'm originally from California, mm -hmm. but I moved to Tennessee when I was four. And, uh, well, let's see, I used to draw like growing up but then um about three years ago that's when i started doing music mm. it's kind of funny because i always thought that i was going to become an artist or an animator when i grew up because i used to make flip books like flip book animations but uh i don't know music just really grabbed me and i decided that's what i wanted to do with myself well, you you certainly pick the uh, the right field for yourself because your your music is it's pretty uh, incredible. Thank uh, you. How exactly did you get into music? Yeah, you just said that um, you originally started off uh, drawing and doing flip books. How did you get introduced to music? Well, it, I think it was when I was thirteen. I actually got a piano for my birthday. And it, was, it wasn't much, it was just a little keyboard, but I had always wanted a piano. And I just started messing around with it, trying to figure out how to play this thing. And I figured out what the left hand is best at doing, what the right hand is best at doing. But I was never trained in anything. I would look up YouTube videos and just watch other people play songs. And then I would play those songs. And of course, it wasn't easy learning like that, but I eventually did get a grasp of it and I started making up my own songs I mean they weren't really complex or anything but it it was something that I was proud of but um, let's see I got into the My Little Pony fandom and I I was iffy about the whole thing because it, it was weird and it was new <laughs> and I, I, yeah. I really didn't know what to think of it but I looked at some of the um, fan-made music and I thought about my piano playing ability and I had a music program on my computer and I decided you know what maybe I can do this too so I tried and my first song was nowhere near the level that I wanted it to be but mm -hmm. I knew I had to start somewhere and I just kept listening to other people and what they'd made and I took notes on what they did and tried to incorporate some of those elements into what I did. Um, Kingdom Hearts, the music from that game series, that was a huge inspiration and still is. Well, how I, did you get your start in drawing? Like, wh oh, what, yeah, attracted I, to, what, what attracted to uh, you to animation and flipbooks? I think it started when I was watching this anime one day and I saw them do a joke of a flipbook animation and the joke was that it was just the same loop over and over again and it was incredibly simple but I thought that it was really cool and I decided that I wanted to try that too mm -hmm. so all throughout, all throughout middle school I was just making flipbooks like every day and I never did get to like full body animation because that was just very time consuming mm -hmm. but um I used to make Metroid animations, actually. Like, I figured out how to draw Samus' sprite in the simplest way possible, and I would just make up small levels. And okay. I, I guess you could say that video games were a huge inspiration to me. Um, what do you really enjoy um, about your work? I like that a lot of what I do is very hard-hitting and fast-paced, mm -hmm. and I really like the cinematic sound, even though some people say it's kind of generic i i'm still a huge sucker for just larger than life music mm -hmm. I, I just really love creating that feeling and the atmosphere of it all what are some of the hardships that you have come across when i first got started i was about a year in and i was doing 
one song about every week, but I came to a point where I had a lot of people saying that my music was starting to sound the same, like the same as the other songs. And mm -hmm. back then, I liked to mix in elements from other songs, not because I was out of ideas, but because I just thought it was kind of cool that some parts I could mix and match. And um, if the song was like the same for the same character, I could have an overarching theme. And that's how people would know that, oh, this is from Radio. Mm -hmm. But I could completely see where other people were coming from, and I tried to just start coming up with new stuff every single song, and I start to get, I, I felt like I was limited by my tools, because back then I worked with free sounds, just stuff you could find anywhere on the internet, mm -hmm. and I was an elect, I was not an electronic musician, so I didn't really have the freedom of making up my own instrument you know i'm kind of limited to free violins which most of them don't really sound that great and i i still have that problem every now and then someone will comment on one of my videos and say hey this sounds like something else when i totally didn't intend for it to mm -hmm. it just ended up that way another Sorry. thing is oh it's fine uh but another thing is my laptop because i'm the whole time I've been working with music, I, um, I've been limited in the number of instruments that I can use because uh, my laptop can only handle so many. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I have to compromise. I have to think, do I really need this instrument playing this part in the song, or can I switch it out for something better? And like I tell some people, most of what I upload isn't what I want. Right. So that, that it's a little frustrating, but um, I'm gonna get a new computer soon, so that should solve a few problems. Uh, what? Which one of your favorite pieces that you've worked on? Ooh, that's actually a tough <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah. But if I'm going to show anybody one of my works, like anybody who has never heard anything, mm -hmm. I would say it's the Darkest Nightmare, which was my Halloween song for 2014. Well. Actually, no, that was my Halloween song for 2013, but my favorite song of mine is my Halloween song from 2014, okay. which was um, Silent Nightmare, which all of my Halloween songs have the nightmare in the name. I try to find a phrase or something that I can stick it into, but my favorite thing about it is the Silent Hill elements that I was able to incorporate into the theme. and just the whole atmosphere is very frantic mm -hmm. and the strings come in and it's just really emotional and like I said Silent Hill um, Jacob's Ladder I listened to music from that and it was just amazing I love what they do with uh, with the woodwinds and just the various voices mm -hmm. so I aim to capture that and for the people that did appreciate that they said that they really loved that theme one of the first tunes that i listened to and uh, coincidentally enough one of your more popular music um videos is tough as nails oh it you you struck gold um with this <laughs> one uh tell us a little bit about tough as nails okay so that was actually birthed from burning Hun 2013 when I met Automatic Jack, and I said I liked his name so much, I wanted to make a song specifically for him, mm. and I wanted to incorporate the elements that I felt his name corresponded to. So, um, of course, it had to be for Applejack, but mm -hmm. that's that's where the guitar came from. But the just intense percussion, yes, and just all of that. I wanted to make something that felt mechanical but all the same like just just all around powerful mm -hmm. and i i was actually feeling kind of disappointed with myself because i listened to some parts of the song and i i just i kind of shook my head i was like this isn't i don't know if this is okay mm -hmm. so i uploaded it not knowing what everyone would think about it and the responses were i, I just couldn't believe that people liked it as much as they did and even my own grandmother 
<laughs> like that's that's her favorite song of mine. Yeah. She has it on her phone. And she says that whenever she's feeling down, she listens to it, and it always makes her feel better. Professionally, what do you hope to accomplish? I would like to take part in doing the music for a major game mm -hmm. or a major movie someday. And I don't expect to do a movie anytime soon. That's a very large step forward that I actually don't feel that I'm completely prepared for in terms of just, uh, mm -hmm. like I said before, mixing and mastering, but also I don't think that my current setup, like my current laptop, can handle what I would need, and I also don't feel that I've got the tools to do everything mm -hmm. I would want to do. But um, as far as like working on a platformer, that's actually my current goal. I would really love to do music for that because they're always fast-paced and energetic and it lots of the platformers I've played just have such inspiring music like Wario Land Shake It I've been listening to music from that game for a good long while right and, and I just I love how good it makes me feel like mm -hmm. just listening to it and I mean I actually haven't really touched the game yet even though I have it <laughs> but I just I want to I want to take part in that. I want to make something that people can enjoy while they're playing something that they enjoy. Who would you want to work with? Well, in the community, there's no doubt I'd like to work with Makan. And we actually did have something in the works once, oh, very but cool. uh, I wasn't able to export my project as MIDI, so that actually never really went anywhere. So. Um, I, I still want to do something with him though, because he's, like I said before, a really big inspiration, mm -hmm. and he's a really great guy. Uh, he definitely is. But on a larger scale, uh, maybe the people from Two Steps from Hell, or even Hans Zimmer. A lot mm -hmm. of the musicians that I'm more familiar with are actually dead now. <laughs> <laughs> That's unfortunate. So, yeah, but I mean, just working with him and just getting to be around the guy who made the music for the dark knight mm -hmm. like he i watched a video on him and he described how he made the music for the joker and he said he was able to isolate or he was able to encompass all of the character into one note and that just blew me away because he did it and he did it mm -hmm. extremely well and i I would really like to work with someone of that caliber. What's some of the best advice that uh, that you've received? Just don't give up. I know that sounds really cliche, really cheesy, but there are a lot of times where I thought, you know what, I'm, I'm not sure if I should even try anymore because I've just hit a brick wall mm. and I don't, I don't feel like I'm getting anywhere. But just keep looking for inspiration or even take a break for a little while and then come back to it and you'll almost always have ideas. Uh, if if nothing else, just start messing around and see if something sticks. And for aspiring musicians out there, um, what would you, uh, what advice would you offer them? Aside from don't give up. I would say when people go to critique your work, generally try to limit what you take in to comments made by people you respect because there are going to be many people out there who don't exactly know what they're talking about mm -hmm. and while you shouldn't completely discredit them I would say to not take them as seriously as people who have actual experience in the areas that you're aiming to master I would say to just keep your critique limited to people that you hold in high regard. And finally, um, where can people find your artwork and how can people support you? Most of my stuff is on YouTube, but I actually sell my stuff on Bandcamp. And every album I try to make it a deal so that if people are just looking to buy a whole bunch of my music, they can just buy the album and get like 15 or 13 songs for $10 okay. but 
Yeah, through Bandcamp. And you can find some of my works in progress on SoundCloud. Alrighty. Well, um, thank you very much for taking the time for doing this interview. Uh, it's been a pleasure talking with you. I've been a fan of yours for, uh, for just over a year now. And I, I really look forward to what, you're, what you'll come out with next. I'm a huge, huge music fan. <laughs> I know nothing about music, but I, <laughs> but I love music. It's a huge, huge part of my life, and I really look forward to what you come up with next. Thanks. All right, thank you.